Wilson making his entrance into the start shoot. The white noise machine out of Wanganui. Slim and I had just about written the man off from Wanganui after his uh, first outing in the top six. The boat just not performing to expectations. Jaden McDonough doing the navigational duties here today. Oh, Hayden Wilson, the big back off on that right hand of the boat, just not, uh, not handling the way it should at all. But Hayden Wilson, certainly a seasoned campaigner and just continuing on with this lap into the mouth, fresh hairpin. That's probably the best he's done that hairpin all day, to be fair. So the man who uh, wears number two New Zealand struggling here at the home track after uh, blowing a piston out there at the Y Rapper. So the uh, split was well off the time where he'd like to be. It was a 38. So Hayden Wilson will do his absolute best wringing everything he can out of the white noise machine with a 53.953, 53.953 to open up the account. And that is the time that Carl Beaver and Chris Rasmussen are going to be chasing. Yep, that'll make it interesting, I'll tell you. Uh, is it enough? Well, we'll find out in a couple of minutes, but I, uh, I don't know. Now, we've put the commentator's curse on them today, so I'm a bit edgy to what we, uh, what we say next, but we've got Mate, the... Mate, uh, throw it out there, bury them. Look, we've got the beaver reliever, right? <laughs> yeah. If anyone's going to uh, do the damage, it's going to be the beaver reliever. We've got the utmost faith in them. Uh, I know my mate Craig sitting on the bank. He loved this boat right from the start. Driven all the way from Hawke's Bay to watch these guys today. So big shout out to Craig and I uh, uh, hope you're having a great day sitting on the bank there, my friend. But here they come, the Beaver Reliever, the last time today. Can they finish on the top of the podium? We'll find out very soon as they swing back through the course now. They come in. Oh, look at them drift through there. Superb. Stay off the wall. Fantastic. As they go in through the nut. They come back round through the centre. Oh, look at them go, KB. They'll come into the Lucas Hawks hairpin, bounce through there just nicely, in, out. Grab right, just a left. little bit of tyre on that exit there, just only a fraction of it. It was almost discernible. Uh, but Carl Weaver, not well. He's done the hairpin a little bit better. That'll cost him valuable tenths of seconds. However, the momentum, the rage continues. Carl Weaver through the split at a 37.459, yeah, which a is uh, 1.4 at least quicker than uh, Hayden Wilson set in white noise. They've got to come for the big finish now as he comes around the Lucas Oil sweeper to pick up a good time. 52.587. It's going to put him on the top. P1, he slides in there. 52.587. Give him a round of applause, folks. That's a good run from them. Is it enough, though? Well, we'll see what Chris and Holly can do. Can they come out? They'll know it. They've got to leave all or nothing. And what can they do? They've got to beat it to get on the top of the podium. Because these guys, Kay, Carl Beaver and Jay Amon, they've got one foot on the top of the podium at the moment. Hey, just had a quick chat to uh, young Blake Hughes here. He said, I reckon the pressure will get to Chris Rasmussen and Holly Sutherland. Well, I'll tell you what, that is throwing it out there. That is a broad prediction. And uh, you will notice that I didn't make that prediction. I've sold young Blake down the tube in case it all goes wrong for him. But I'll tell you what, Chris Rasmussen, fantastic bloke really wants to make that top step of the podium his he wants to own it here at round number two for the new zealand jet sprint championship very nice around that hairpin through the left right combination and i'll tell you what didn't drift it wide to open up that apex very nice a lot less real estate covered or bogged it down i tell you what, he bogged it down harder than Carl Beaver did. How's the split going to look as Chris Rasmussen across at the split in a 37.4? And he is 0.04 quicker than Carl Beaver. Oh, running close to the tyres at the top of the track. This is going to be a strong finish from these two. Here we go, folks. We're going to determine the winner as he goes through. It's going to be a 51.990. There is your Champion near 51.990, Chris Rasmussen and Holly Sutherland. Put it together, folks. They'll come along to Tell you uh, what, that man on victory. track, they will be absolutely stoked with that one. The Beaver Reliever, your choice there, young Blake, in P2. And Hayden Wilson, after what is otherwise an ordinary day, manages to get a P3, so very well done to him as well. So that's... Uh, we will get uh, Chris Rasmussen and Holly Sutherland. They will get the chequered flag. Take that for a well-deserved victory lap.
this victory lap will give the team from Eltham in the unlimited super votes category brought to you by Mouthfresh that opportunity to put a new reverse bucket in, try and work that actuator out. But uh, as they're coming through now, we're waiting for them to come through. So the pressure on as we move into the Group A's, KV. Again, it looks like we'll see Ollie Silverton come out first. We know that uh, he, get, he was on the bubble there in the, uh, in the top six, just snuck through with the unfortunate uh, accident of Ross Travers. So interestingly, I have been told that Glenn Head in the Unlimited, uh, in the Eltham boat, is underneath the commentary tower, which may mean that that reverse bucket has been uh, absolutely destroyed. We're about to find out. However, ladies and gentlemen, rise to your feet and give Chris Rasmussen and Holly Sutherland a well-deserved clap. Oh, the fantastic display. They've left it all out on the track. They have uh, jumped ahead. They finished second down in the uh, wire wrapper last month. They'll be absolutely stoked with that effort to, uh, to knock uh, the Beaver reliever off the podium here today and a great finish for them. So well done to those two. So interestingly,